previously in Cyberpunk 2077. If I'm gonna keep doing these cyber psycho jobs for Regina, I probably should see about getting myself a gun that does non-lethal damage. These things usually give me some pretty decent loot, so I wanna, like, uh... Do as many as I can. Is it cowardice to avoid being shot? This used to be a game! This is not supposed to be my life. How did I end up in this situation? You know, that's a question I don't think I've asked nearly enough. I mean, it's really not that hard when you go in guns blazing. Except I've got one more thing to do. And now to continue. Appreciate it. Thanks. <sighs> Wasn't expecting to get a tune-up today, but uh, I was in the neighborhood, so thanks. Let's take a look at my new toys. Did a few upgrades, nothing too spectacular, but now I have all of these filled in, and I'm really glad I do, because they give me a lot of good bonuses, and I'm excited to use them. Also upgraded uh, my eyeballs, <laughs> which is still a really weird experience, but... I think these ones will work better, especially considering I seem to be just maxing out tech ability. So having everything tech attuned is, is really, really useful. Um, and this is going to be an interesting combination. I wonder how well it's going to work. So Biomonitor automatically heals when below 50% using a health item. And this thing acts as a health item. Instantly restores 65 health and regenerate 13 per second for 6. Like, it's almost like an infinite heal. Unless, of course, this has a cooldown. It doesn't say that it has a cooldown. This doesn't say it has a cooldown either, but my normal uh, max dock has a cooldown, so... Definitely gonna have to do something about that in my um, trees. I think I already have actually, but I think there's more I can do in reducing, uh, yeah, 50% faster use of health items. I won't need that anymore, honestly, if this is gonna work the way I hope it's gonna work. 100% instant recharge of a health item after neutralizing an enemy. Ooh, I am going to want that perk. Recharge health item. 30% health from the final charge of your health item. So, yeah, I'm going to want to invest more in... No, I think it's just that perk. Honestly, I think it's the only one I really need. Um, and these all have to do with that, Pyromania, which I do want Pyromania. I think that look, that's going to be a great ability to have. Um... But yeah, should be interesting. Okay. Now. To figure out what I'm doing. Um. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty. But something came to me. Uh. Elaborate on how you're feeling for me a bit. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. Gonna stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. Okay. I'll admit I can work with anger, too. Anger is a very good motivator. Maybe not the best motivator. Maybe not a healthy motivator, but it works. Uh, so what's up? So what did you come up with? The Mox dive. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. 
Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Oh. Yeah, but the takeover wasn't exactly smooth, was it? I'm familiar with the story. Things did not go that smoothly. I didn't say they did. Didn't say they would. But Evie thought Clouds would be safe. You saw how far that got her. How she ended. V. I can't stand by and let things go on like this. Uh, are you sure you've thought this through? Sure you've thought this through, Judy? Carefully? <laughs> Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tans and toned asses doing nothing. All right. So are the mocks wanting to take over Clouds then? Or are you thinking that the, the dolls at Clouds should take over and run it themselves? Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. No, someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Uh, well, I'm certainly not going to let you do something this stupid on your own. Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so what's the plan? First up, we got to talk to Maiko Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Okay, and who is she? Maiko Maeda? Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it, too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Right. Basically, she's the, the manager in charge. So that the real manager doesn't have to deal with the, the clientele. Sure Maiko's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around and then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? How well do you know Maiko? How well do you know this Maiko? Too well. Elaborate, please. I could use a little bit more information. What's her temperament? What's her business ethic? Is she going to kill us on sight? These are all important questions, Judy. When do you want me to meet you? When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before 8. I'll be by the entrance. No, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Oh. And it is what time right now? 2 a.m. I have been working my butt off all day. And it's now super early in the yeah, alright you know what we're gonna do this we're gonna do it right now we're gonna go meet and then after this meeting I'm going home and going to bed cuz I have spent the day running all over Watson clearing NCPD alerts oh my apartment is right there oh 8 a.m.? 8 a.m. You you want us to meet at 8 a.m. Well, suddenly I am glad I bought this apartment. No, I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm not. I mean, she wants to meet early, early morning. Okay, fine. I don't have a problem with that. What a problem is what what I have a problem with is I've been awake all day and it's already early, early morning. So, I'm gonna go catch a nap, and then maybe get some coffee. I need to get at least about four hours of sleep. Five if I'm lucky. So... I'm gonna go take a nap. My apartment's right here. I paid for it. I should sleep in it at least once. Um, provided I can remember how to get in it. Stairs is usually the right answer. Although I was about to jump over the balcony. 
because I got double jump leggings. And they are just too much fun. Okay. Do, how's my stash looking? Anything new in the shelving? In the display case? No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like the same ones I've already put there. That's okay. The ones I have, I've upgraded quite a bit more. I eventually would like to upgrade all of my Iconics to the highest possible level, but for now I'm just going to focus on the ones that I'm actually using. And right now, these three seem to be doing me just fine, so I don't have any real reason to use anything else. Where is my wardrobe? Do, does this place even have a closet? Oh. Wow, my closet at the other place is larger than this. Um, this really ought to be the way that I put my clothes away. But it doesn't seem to work that way. All right, well, I mean, blah, doing that really is a waste of time because there's no point in use, you, using that. The, like, the wardrobe function just, it's a waste of time. All right. <sighs> okay, I don't see any coffee in here or energy drinks or anything of that sort so alright I'm gonna get a nap before I have to go run off to Japan town Oh my god, is it time already? Fuck. That was not enough sleep. Oh god, I I really What do I have in in stock? Oh. I I need some caffeine. Some serious caffeine. Oh, boy, no. Oh, great pot. No, not pie. I caffeine. Synth snack soup. Tiancha Palmello. That's not what I'm looking for, I think. <laughs> Alcohol, first thing in the morning. Yeah, I mean. Oh, Chromanticore. That's an energy drink. Okay. And you know what? I could use something to eat, too. So let's eat that hot dog before it starts to mold. Oh, my God. Judy, you better appreciate this a lot. <sighs> What's the red dot? Oh, never mind. That's my stash. All right. I had more to do around here. But I guess it can wait until we go see what Judy wants. So we're meeting with basically the lower manager of clouds. Maiko, again, Maiko's the, the manager that's not the manager. Her job is to handle um, the dolls themselves and and any client complaints that may or may not arise so that the real manager which I'm pretty sure is the guy I whacked um, doesn't have to deal with them so that he can do other things like what he was doing that caused me to want to whack him uh. he did it again. all right and we just got back together uh, now he's dodging my calls. He's just scared. Is that that vending machine dumped. again? 
And so he always does it first. And I'm always the one trying to save the relationship. Ugh, I feel like such a gonk. He's the gonk here, Theo. Not you. You have so much love and empathy to give to people like him. But at what cost? I know this can all feel like too much. But you have your own happiness to worry about, Theo. We can't always help other people. Thanks, Brendan. Can someone well, explain to you. me I why it is that. I'm so interested Thanks for in... listening to all my bitching. I bet you even Donald Lundy sometimes goes through a whole tub of ice cream and three packets of tissues. A woman having a conversation with a vending machine. You are the sweetest person I know. I'll see you later. Thank you. Theo. Theo Price. Hey, Brendan. Who's your new friend? Who's that girl you were talking to? Oh, you mean Theo? She's my bestest friend. Gosh, she's so nice and pretty and sensitive. I like talking to her. Brendan? Definitely way more fun than pumping out caramel lattes. Why do I get the feeling that judging people on how they look and feel is ever so slightly beyond you. Hogwash. If I couldn't analyze people, how would I know whether to recommend a daring dairy instead of a Tiancha? Right. Yeah. No, you sound like you have feelings for her. You said you liked some people more than others. Earlier, you thought of a joke. You were sentient. You've got to be. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're making me blush. Which would mean I'm overheating and my circuits are frying. Not fun at all. That's what I thought. Take care, Brendan. Yeah. Uh, just so this isn't a wasted trip. I'll, uh, have a tomato juice, I guess. Okay. So the vending machine, it is now a sentient AI. Yep. Nothing could possibly go wrong with that. Sure. Alright, where am I meeting Judy? Okay. Just take the elevator. I can just take the elevator. I like this plan. This plan is simple. It does not involve me jumping over anything. Um... Do I want the ground floor? Or... Let's go up to clouds. And what's on the news? Anything fun? Can't hear you, lady. Yeah. She's uh, a bit quiet today. Saying something because my dialogue translators are working. So hold on. You take a blow up doll. No, not not no. No, not listening to this conversation. No. No. Let's ignore them. Pretty sure those two idiots were having the same conversation the last time I was here. I don't want to hear it again. Okay, so where exactly am I going, Judy? Okay, so... What? Oh, this is exactly what I was wanting to avoid. Why am I climbing over balconies and rooftops? Oh, hey. Um... Something to read? Probably not. Ooh, there's a lot here. No, I'll save that for another time. Okay. Really hope you've got some amazing plan, Judy, for making me climb all the way up here. Why do I get the feeling we're sneaking in the back way and it's not exactly appreciated by people? Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Yeah, 
I certainly wasn't gonna let you do something Talking this stupid on your own. Like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. <sighs> Are you nervous? You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'll keep your cool. Remember, violence isn't going to get us what we want, at least not this time. Some deeds about her could be useful when I talk to her, don't you think? No, leave the talking to me. Right, I don't see that how that's going to go over well. And just exactly what are you going to say to her? How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth about Evelyn, what happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. Uh, this is this is not a sound plan. This is not a sound plan. And you don't have any other ideas? We couldn't make an appointment? Get it together. <sighs> All right, fine, fine. Right. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Just for the record, I don't like the way we're going about this. Like, the idea is sound. Lock like that? No way you cracked it. But your methodology sucks. Try. Know how to get around their systems? Appears so. I was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy and that's coming from someone who kills people for a living. Follow me. Oh. What do we have there? Judy Alvarez. Yoink. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Dollhouse feedback. Celeste, great performance. No change in attitude. Gale, no improvement in work attitude. No willingness to change. Oh. That's a psyche eval, as well as a performance eval, and uh, also, I never it has surprise parties, but you know, yep, a gem of Japanese elegance. Hanako Arasaka visits tonight. Okay, Did I even know why. I, I thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mox. Really don't care about to stoop even lower now. Hanako Arasaka. You somehow never fail to lower my expectations. First, you settle for the mox, now murderers. I hey, think professional me. killer. Yes, V. I mean you. I'm not a murderer. I'm a professional killer. Get it right. Sounds like I left a mark on this place. Good. If by mark you mean buckets of blood, then yeah, congrats. Ah, uh, I'm just gonna go blend in with the furniture. I oh, don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Ha. <laughs> Starting to think blowing hot air is all you're good at. A pathetic attempt at getting under my skin. What's next? Threats? Can't rule it out. Well, can't ever rule violence out. You two done bickering over diddly squat. Cause if you are, I'd like to get down to biz. Here's the thing. Literally in moments, security will figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And don't get me wrong. There's an option three. I'd sit and catch up. Been quite a while since we last talked. Yeah, don't, don't rule out you're option three. You're not safe here at Clouds. Especially not with her at your side. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. Re remember, remember that that conversation we just had. You picked the wrong side, Michael. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, I'm done talking with her. What do we have here? 
Uh, hey Martha, thanks for the date. You're a nice girl and I like you, but it's just gonna, not going to happen. Please don't take it personally. Heart Solutions. Dear Maiko, welcome to the Elite Service of Heart Solutions. Soul service provider on the market. We take what we do seriously. Yada, yada, yada. Could be some interesting information. Take your shirt off. Judy to Maiko. Really? Third time I'm telling you, take back your precious sweaters. I don't have space for them in my stub sub standard mediocre unit. Lacking that doesn't square you square with your ambitions. Might as well just send over one of the bimbos to, to keep circling you like flies. Otherwise, they're going to straight straight to recycling because I can't look at them anymore. It's amazing how terrible your taste was. Clearly, I wasn't just gonk but blind too. So they were together for a time. That's useful information. You went too far? From Judy to Maiko. You crossed the line today since when do I need permission to go in your office? Security contacted you, so don't BS me with procedures. It was your call. Just cool down and stop throwing a fit. You'll get us both in trouble. I have to keep up some semblance of professionalism which you clearly never had to deal with okay this could be useful information now you suddenly care about rules I did it because I wanted things to change wait are they talking about the thing I think they're talking about the thing that I did maybe no this is something different that's your perspective. Congrats, you've ascended the left me back here in the real world. I miss you. Took my work home because that sleazeball was standing over me the whole time watching me, watching my hands move. Oh, she's talking about, now that's, that one she's talking about, the person that I offed, and I don't even remember his name. There is some very valuable information in here between the two of them. Got it. Just for information's sake. Doll equipment, employees, medical, blah, blah, blah. We can ask the dolls to clean up after closing, but they'll put up a fight and won't do it properly. Forrest, that's the guy's name. You don't let Forrest Gall happily take over his responsibilities. Well, he's kind of... Hello. Do not delete... Got a bit of a soft soft spot for her that after all, don't you? I told you she it wouldn't do so well. She's probably you know scared. She's scared stiff. She'd have lots to lose if things went sour. Everything, in fact. So she'll just let things go on as usual? That's what scared people do. When they're afraid of losing everything, the best option is to do nothing. Uh, you need a hand? I have two I could lend. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. Oh, they do. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. A little more than a crush, according to the messages I just read. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> just Are you? Could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but can't say if it'll amount to anything. Okay. Yeah, you a deck chair and a mai tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow, I don't see it. No. Me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. 
Something I avoid right now. Uh. That's it? You're just gonna leave it there? Weird way to end a conversation. Great. So what do we do now? This kind of feels like it was just all a dead end. I mean, I'm still happy I came with you. Because again, don't want you doing something stupid all by yourself. the ground floor I need to get out of this place yeah yeah sure sure ground foot Johnny can I help you do you have you uh, two cents to add I really don't understand what tits have to do with selling that garbage can't say no to tits rest can go fuck itself what Second you react with your dick, steady your head, you give them exactly what they want. Does it look like I give a shit? Doesn't matter. They already flushed one down your brain. Well, I mean, this, the old saying is, sex sells. It's that way for a reason. And it's not just men that are the target demographic. hell are you even playing? I don't know. Okay, so... Should I see you later? Do you want to go grab some breakfast? No? I got four hours of sleep all so that you could go talk to some gr old girlfriend and get rejected again. Judy. I get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough. Michael only works with specifics. She's a businesswoman. Thought you might give up after this. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule. Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. Okay. Do you have any idea of what you want to do next? You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. How many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes. You gotta deal with the dirt. So, when now? <laughs> gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. Uh, could you maybe refrain from walking right through me? Dear... God, that was disturbing on so many levels. 